Hi everybody and today what do I have planned for you? I'm going to be um, upcycling um, a cheap frame that I got from one of our pound stores and um, I'm going to give it a coat of gesso first and then I'm going to do a bit of crackling I'm going to be using um, PBO paints and um, my favourite crackle paint and then I, for the inside I'm going to be using uh, one of the new stamp sets by Stamps By Me to create the insert so it's a beautiful day here and um, let's get cracking. I'll change to overhead and uh, we'll make a start. So as I said I'm going to be decorating this frame. So first off I'm just going to move you out a little bit. I think you're too... that's better. And um, I'm just going to give it a coat of white gesso and I'm using the Windsor & Newton Water. so I just really to it's just to give it a quick base so that um, and I'll dry it I do do like this um, this gesso this is one of my one of my favorite gessos I use it for all my mixed media projects journaling um, <coughs> and that so is one of my uh, go-to ones. So I'll just give it a coat, a quick coat around the sides and that. So I've been uh, rather lax in my videos of late, but hopefully um, I'm back into the swing of things now. What with um, my holiday and then birthday and that so hopefully now I'm back in the swing and I'll get two videos posted a week I want to thank all of um, all of my subscribers and this is <coughs> this project is the giveaway as well because I've reached over 600 subscribers I said I would do a giveaway so this is going to be the giveaway to any of the Anyone who leaves a comment, they will go into and I'll do a random, I'll get my husband to pick one of the comments as the, as the winner. So, I'll quickly dry that. I just like to give it, um, give them all a base coat. So, I'll quickly give it a dry. For the next coat I am going to be using the PBO Studio Acrylics High Viscosity and this is Burnt Umber and it's number 29 and it's an opaque. So I'm um, just put it down on my mat and just pick it up and just quickly um, paint it. I won't make you sit and watch the me paint all this. There's nothing worse. Um, but I will come to you at the end. So as you can see, I'm just coming to the end now of uh, um, painting all four sides of the uh, frame, and it's taken the paint quite quite well. And I'm just going to finish this off, making sure I've not missed anything. There's no nothing left. There we are. And it does quite dry pretty quick. This, so I'm I'm really pleased. It's dried really really quick. But I'll just assist it. Um, I just want to scrap a card. 
I just want to paint this up, use the rest of this paint on here. I don't want to waste it because I know I'll use it for something else on a project, maybe a card making project. Oh. They always say waste not want not so I didn't want to waste it so I've got an idea on, on how I will use this. Might make it into a sheet of crackle paper. So anyway, so that's that done. Put to one side. So it's all done. I'll just uh, wipe up my mess and give it a quick dry. And then once it's dry I'm going to add a layer of um, the crackle medium by Plaid and um, while that's drying I will get the um, <coughs> the inside of the frame the scene that I want to create and uh, just get it thought of going with them um, instead of stamping the trees black and doing a background all I'm going to do is just um, <clears throat> do a quick thing on the bottom um, kind of like a, a, a landscape scene and then um, stamp the trees and different different um, kind of first second third and fourth generation so um, I'm just going to dry this now. Okay, so that's dry. And as I said, I'm going to give it a coat of crackle. putting up quite a nice thick layer on this um, hopefully I get some nice deep crackles and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it and let it dry naturally because I do like to let this dry natural making sure I've got the inside as well I was going to use my um, my distress uh, my distress crackle paint, but uh, it's gone to gone to uh, gone in the bin because it had dried up. So just wanted to try something else, but unfortunately, it's uh, just to uh, try a different crackle. But this was on hand and it's I know it works so I know Imagination Crafts do a crackle which was one of my favourites until I got this one so um that does a nice crackle too. And you all Imagination Craft products are really top notch. And that's nice because they're a UK co UK based company as well so I can just see an area I've missed and I think that's all done now so I'm going to leave that let it dry naturally just rest it on top of me on top of there like that oh, it's not going to it's not going to it's not going to Just rest it on there. There we are. 
Right, okay. Just give that a quite clean before I start. So now I'm going to come in and do my my seam. Okay. So I've cut. I've already done the prep work. So what I've done is I've masked off the area. This is um, watercolor card, and I've masked off the area that I want to work in. And I'm just going to just to ground my trees. I am just going to come in with, do it the other way Linda, see. I'm just going to come in and ground my trees and after that I'm going to use my distressing because I've got the minis, not all of them but I've got quite a few and I think I'll go with evergreen bow. Um, I might and then again I might not let's have a look and see what green I want a green edge and I, I want to go with different colours shades of pinks for the trees so while I'm looking for a nice green pick raspberries too too in your face I think oh I've got ice spruce wonder if that would be nice mm. I'm not going to um, I might just gently brush the the sky with um, some chip sapphire but I'm going to use a brush rather than a oh mowed lawn I'll go with mowed lawn there we go, that was quick. I've got festive berries. There. Oh. Hmm. I might do the velvet. Do that, 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 and that. I'm going to use three different colours of, of of kind of ready pinky shades. Found those a bit too red. Anyway, so I'm sorted. Right, so first off, I need to get my brush, get a brush. There we go. So I've got these brushes, these are from Clarity Stamp, again a UK company. And I'm just going to move the hair out of the way. And I'm just going to move it, because I'm left-handed, so I like to work kind of that way if you see what I mean so can you see so I'm just going to get a load of ink on the brush I need a piece of scrap paper just to take off there we go and all I'm going to do is just Backwards and forwards, and I like this because um, it's textured. It's really nice. Oops! Oh, I don't like that. decided I'm going to do kind of like just a little hill here Thank you. 
I'm just going to put this back into position and then go over it again. I'm not sure if you can see the texture but I'm really really liking that texture. <coughs> so before I do the trees, turn that over and I'm going to come in with the chip sapphire and I'm just going, I'm not going to go all the way down, I'm just going to have some pale blue. Well, not a pale blue, I kind of want a night sky. You'd be surprised how much you can get off this brush. So I kind of want it darker at the, f the f top and working my way down. see I've kind of done an ombre effect so it's darker I'll lift it up so it's darker here and then it goes paler and this is why I really like this brought these brushes for that going to bring the green back in, place this back on here and just darken this up a bit. There we go, so that's that done. So now I'm going to bring in my um, Eureka 101 and this is was designed by Tony at Stamps by Me. And all I'm going to do is just, I can take this off now because I've finished so I can just take that off. And as you can see, I've got a nice so first off I'm going to use archival jet black and I'm going to stamp the moon. And this is the stamp set from Stamps by Me. I will put the link below. And I'm just going to place the moon there, I think. Place the moon there. Door over. Because this is um, a textured card with using the Eureka, if it's not taking everything like I, I really want that darker, I don't, 
I will get it in exactly the same position because I've not moved my card and the stamps in exactly the same place there we go looks nice and dark so as you can see I use the water palette when I do my water colouring colouring so we'll do that there and now I just want a sheet of paper so I can work out the darkness of my trees how dark they're going to be because um, obviously I want the lightest at the back and the darker the colour so I'm just going to stamp and I think I You know I'm moving it round the uh, just so I can get a feel for the colours. Sorry about the noise. Yep, let's see what this warm lipstick's like. Just pop that over there like that. Okay, so maybe I don't want Victorian velvet, I want sponge sugar because that will be the playlist. Let's just move this across to here. And this is what I like you can, you know, you can play. So it'll be that one, festive berries, and then the warm lipstick. Yeah. So they that now I know the way that I want to do them. So I can put that to one side and just wipe this over so I don't get anything on it. I'll just you out a bit that's it just so you can see what I'm doing so I want that there I'm going to go within sponge sugar Set that. We'll do festive berries. And it doesn't matter that I've stamped outside because you won't see that. Before I stamp onto the next layer, I'm going to give that a quick blast. Finally, oops, I need to move this now.
bring it over to there, like that. really like how the trees look with the distressing and because I want that darker I'll go back in and stamp them again and uh, ink them again just want a couple of trees here not all of them just a few just going to do so I need to move my card over I'll just move that there like that Colour. So as I said, this is going to be um, the giveaway for um, for gaining six hundred subscribers. So please share this video and leave a comment. And um, one lucky winner, one lucky commenter, will uh, win this frame. There we are, that's better, isn't it? And I'm only going to go in with one colour for this. Not the three, I'm just going to go in with the one colour. And I think we'll go in with warm lipstick. want to <coughs> now stamp a sentiment and we have on here dance in the moonlight and that is exactly what I'm going to place there Just going to stamp this with an archival jet black, and I want it really prominent. I want a real good crisp. So 
so I'll stamp it maybe two, maybe three times. See how it is after two. And this this is why I love this. I mean, if you try to do this with an acrylic block, there's just no way you would be able to do that. There we are. And I just need to not quite catch in the H. So just stamp up this last bit here. There we go. So that is done now. So that's the inside done. Then we will wash them later after I've finished. Inside. So that's done. So I'll put that to one side. I just want to ground them trees and I will ground them I think with um, I think I might ground them with some brown uh, have I got a green hold on I think I've got a green green distress pen so I'm just going to kind of um, just ground them. I think my marker's on the way out. Oh yeah. Got shadow shutters. I've just grounded them. So, as you can see, they look a bit better, don't they? Look a bit grounded. And I might actually. I'll think about that in a minute. I've just had an idea, but so. That's going to go in the inside. You won't be able to see either side. Um, but as you can see, trees and the paler ones in the background. So now, this is still damp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun, I think, otherwise this video is going to take forever. So, to add my next layer, to add my next layer, I'm going to use this sponge. And this is again PBO Studio Acrylic Cyber Viscosity Buff Titanium, and it's number 65. It's brand new. I got it in the um, hobby craft here. Had um, a sale, so I got it then. So I'm just going to work my way round the inside of the frame first, and I'm using this because it goes into a V. Can you see? And into a V, and it'll get right into the to the corner. Of the inside of the frame there and I've actually picked up some fluff which I didn't want
So as before, I'm not going to make you sit and watch all of this. So what I'll do is I will fast forward it and um, I'll see you at the end. Okay, so now it's dry as you can see it's dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to well it's finished I've and I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun okay so as you can see it's crackled nice tiny crackles um, really like how it's turned out and this it's not perfect which is I didn't really want so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a quick dry brush with gold and for that I'm going to use um, I'm going to use indigo blue gold finger I'm just going to very lightly, very lightly, not I don't want much, make the gold into me into my brush. And I'm just going to sweep up and down. Not a lot. I don't want it. And there's quite a lot of gold on here so I'm just making it kind of last if you see what I mean but I will as with all my videos I will do still photographs at the end and uh, you'll be able to see like and how this has turned out so I think I got these I got two frames I got this one and a smaller one for a pound and uh, it's not bad is it so hopefully my next project is something that I've been wanting to do for ages and I finally got myself um, a big paintbrush and that is to decorate a paintbrush so uh, hopefully fingers crossed all being well that will be the video after this so just have the texture there we are so that's that done now all that's left for me to do is put the artwork in and add it to the frame. But first off I want to just sign my name. Frame on which is guys because you can there's a 
a hanger that you can hang it. And let's see. Just want to move these out the way. Want to see this move it across. Oops, forgot the glass. Forgot the glass. There we are in the frame. And I just need to uh, sort this out now. Make sure it doesn't move. There we are. A really nice frame and um, cheap and cheerful and um, really pleased with how that turned out. Now don't forget this is the 600 subscriber giveaway so um, please leave a comment like and share with your friends. I will have still photographs at the end. I'll have the links to all the companies that I've, I've mentioned in this video. And uh, all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Uh, happy crafting and bye bye.